What's going on guys, it's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video. Now yesterday the Sleeper Simulant Mystery started and today it ended in the form of a strike, a Fallen Saber strike. Basically after what we did yesterday and leaving what we found with Banshee, after 24 hours the quest continued with a version of the Fallen Saber strike which to be honest was pretty damn easy. After defeating Saber you are rewarded the Sleeper Simulant Weapon Frame which you take to Banshee, the Tower Gunsmith. He then rewards you with the Sleeper Simulant and that's it, job done. This mysterious weapon so many people have spent hours upon hours trying to crack its code and get clues into how it's obtained. And after all the mystery it's obtained actually very easily. Now I made a video way back before the Taken King came out talking about novelty weapons. I spoke of weapons used to hype up DLCs which eventually came to us all and were nothing really important. I said in this video this is what I believe the sleeper will be and it's turned out to be the truth. The sleeper simulant is definitely a special looking piece but it's a weapon that has been way 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 overhyped. And like I said, many people have spent hours trying to solve a puzzle, which to be honest didn't really need solving. The Sleeper Simulant is a weapon just like the Murmur, a weapon everyone will have and forget about after a week. I honestly feel Bungie have kind of let us down here, well let down the people who have devoted many hours into cracking this mystery. I mean, don't get me wrong, if you do compare this exotic quest to that of last year's 4 Bounty or Pocket Infinity Bounty, it's a million times better. And on that aspect, Bungie have done good. With the sleeper, you gotta do your own special missions, you gotta do a strike, you gotta crack calls, you gotta wait hours upon hours for war stats and so forth. So it is a lot better than what we have previously experienced with exotic bounties. Shame the end result is a shabby weapon. Now if you have the sleeper and have used it, you will understand what I mean. Thing holds no ammo at all. Its ADS is absolutely dreadful. It feels chunky and slow, but to be honest, what do you guys expect? Bungie won't be handing out year two galleys to everybody, it just ain't the way it works. If they're going to give people free weapons, obviously, it ain't going to be that great. Okay, sure, it looks good and it sounds absolutely amazing, but um, that's about it. To be honest, I haven't tested its true power, but I am doubting it will one-shot Oryx. So personally, to me, after using it for probably an hour or two, I'll probably put it inside my vault and never pick it back up. So the Sleeper Simulant is a heavy slot exotic fusion rifle. It offers solar damage and drops with 290 attack. It has two main perks. Weapon laser tears through enemies and ricochets once on hard surfaces and activate Ikelos. Upgrades laser to allow multiple ricochets on hard surfaces. It also has hip fire, speed reload, custom optics and injection mode. And that is it. But yep guys, this is the Sleeper Simulant and this is how it's obtained. That mysterious exotic fusion rifle which ain't so mysterious anymore. But guys, let me know your opinion on this issue with the Sleeper Simulant. Do you think it lives up to the hype? Let me know down below. Thanks for stopping by as always. Do drop a like, I do appreciate the support. Subscribe for Daily Destiny and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out until next time. Peace!